Yeah. What the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And welcome to What You Missed, a weekly show where I go over Easter eggs, plot lines, and other stories that you might have missed from the last week's episode of Game of Thrones. And on this episode, I will tell you exactly how the death of Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen was foreshadowed in this week's episode. <laughs> And since I'm putting out new Game of Thrones videos every day, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I release a new video. And I must say, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. This might come true. If you don't want to know what happens at the end of this whole thing of Game of Thrones, you probably do not want to listen anymore. This probably isn't the video for you because most likely this is exactly how it's going to end for Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow. But you have been warned. So what we received in this last episode of Game of Thrones is 100% confirmation that Daenerys Targaryen is playing the role of Nisa Nisa. Now what I'm going to do right now is explain to you exactly who Nisa Nisa is and then I'm going to give you every indication and foreshadowing that they gave you in the show all these seasons that led up to this last one confirming that she is definitely Nisa Nisa. Nisa Nisa was the wife of Azura Hyde. He sacrificed her to create the famous sword Lightbringer. Darkness laid over the world and the hero, Azura Hyde, was chosen to fight against it. To fight the darkness, Azura Hyde needed to forge a hero's sword. He labored for 30 days and 30 nights until he was done. However, when he tempered it in water, the sword broke. He was not to give up on it easily, so he started over. The second time, he took 50 days and 50 nights to make the sword, even better than the first. To temper it this time, he captured a lion and drove the sword into its heart, but once more the steel shattered. The third time, with a heavy heart, for he knew beforehand what he must do to finish the blade. He worked for a hundred days and a hundred nights until it was finished. This time, he called for his wife, Nisa Nisa, and asked her to bear her breast. He drove his sword into her breast, her soul combining with the steel and sword creating Lightbringer while her cry of anguish and ecstasy left a crack across the face of the moon. So in order for this prophecy to come true, the man who is known as Azora Hyde, or the prince that is promised, must take his sword and drive it through the chest and the heart of the woman that he loves in order for it to forge the sword Lightbringer. And this sword will be able to defeat the White Walkers. This is probably the only sword that can actually hurt the Night's King. And the person who has pieced this together for us from the beginning is none other than Lady Melisandre. So in order for Danny to be Nisa Nisa, we must hear confirmation that Jon Snow is the prince that is promised, who is also Azura High. I will do as Jon Snow commands. You serve Jon Snow now. He's the prince that was promised. So there we have it, 100% proof that Jon Snow was seen in the show as the prince that is promised. And if you're wondering why he's considered the prince that is promised, it's because his father is Rhaegar, who was supposed to be king, making Jon Snow the prince. So that is why Jon Snow is the prince that is promised. So now I'm going to show you exactly evidence why Danny is Nisa Nisa. I've done my part. I've brought ice and fire together. So here we hear proof from Melisandre that she views Jon Snow as ice and Daenerys as fire. And she has done her part by bringing them both together. So she feels that she is directly responsible to getting them together. And that was what her mission was all along. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Your grace, forgive me, but your translation is not quite accurate. That noun has no gender in High Valyrian, so the proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess who was promised will bring the dawn. And you believe this prophecy refers to me? I believe you have a role to play. As does another. The king in the north, Jon Snow. 
Right here we see Daenerys try to proclaim herself as the prince that was promised on a technicality that it could mean princess and not prince. And when she asks Melisandre this exact question, do you think the prophecy refers to me? She says to us straight up, I think you have a role to play. Not that it refers to you, just that I think you have a role to play. And the role she has to play is the Nisa Nisa role. But Melisandre's not going to tell her, hey, you're going to get killed. He faced those things. He fought those things for the good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own life. What was that Sir Davos said about taking a knife in the heart for his people? Did you notice that? This is the final blow, the final straw, the final thing you should need to hear to know that Daenerys is 100% without a doubt Nisa Nisa. So we hear Davos say straight up that Jon Snow has taken a knife to the heart already and has been killed, but he has been brought back. He did not put that part in there. But Daenerys focuses on the part of the knife in the heart. And you look at her face right after she says that and Tyrion says his little line, forget all about it. Without a shadow of a doubt, we see here that Daenerys is Nisa Nisa and Jon Snow is going to have to stab her and kill her to forge Lightbringer to defeat the Night King before this is all said and done. And the most important line that we hear is that Jon Snow took a knife to the chest for its people. The whole time we see Daenerys, she's not doing anything for her people. She's doing it because she believes the Iron Throne is hers by right. That she has a birthright to the throne. She's not doing it for the people. So this will give her the opportunity to sacrifice herself for the people. And this is exactly what I think is going to happen. Now I'm going to give you another spoiler warning. Because I'm going to tell you exactly right now how it will end for Daenerys and Jon Snow and how this will all come about. So if you don't want to know exactly how Game of Thrones is going to end, because I'm telling you this is how it's going to end, people, don't watch any more. Watch another video. So what's going to happen, how I believe it's going to happen is like this. Jon Snow and Daenerys will be on Dragon back together. And then somehow they will hit the deck. They will be, fall off this dragon back. Most likely Daenerys will tumble to the floor. They will both be down there and they will be getting beat up pretty bad by the Night's King. While they are laying there hurt and Daenerys is hurt, she will offer to let Jon Snow stab him. He will not want to do it. And then eventually he will then stab Daenerys in the heart and create Lightbringer. From that, when Daenerys dies... Jon Snow will then go and defeat the Night's King. Quick before I forget the sword Dawn that we seen when Jon Snow was born lean up against his bed. That will be the sword that will be used to make Lightbringer. Now after Jon Snow defeats the Night's King and does this. He's going to go over to Daenerys. And he's going to give up his life for Daenerys by giving her the kiss of life. Because we know Jon is already dead. And this is what he's going to do. Because after Danny was willing to sacrifice herself for the realm. That's going to be like her defining moment. And Jon's going to give his life energy to, by the kiss of life into Daenerys. Bringing Daenerys back to rule the Iron Throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms. And Jon Snow will then die. That's how I think it's going to end, people. You tell me what you think. Do you like what I have here or don't you like it? Please put it in the comment section. And next week we'll have something else that you missed. And that will be the death of Varys. I will explain to you exactly how and who's going to kill him and why he's going to die. So if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.